Did you see all those sea creatures swimming under the sea? There were some starfish and some seahorses, lots of sea creatures. Now we're going to do another type of craft. And today, did you see another sea creature under the sea in our, in our song? So today we saw right at the start, we saw a very special, very special type of fish. And someone said it was a puffer fish and they're right. So I thought we could make our own puffer fish. So we have a very special thing, bubble wrap. So sometimes we use bubble wrap to wrap very fragile things. So things that will break. And they have lots and lots of bubbles. So that is a great tool to make our puffer fish because our puffer fish has lots of little spikes, lots of little bubbles on them. So we're going to make our very own puffer fish. So what we need to do first is all we have to do is cut it into a circle. Now, this may be a little bit tricky because bubble wrap is not like paper. It is plastic. So it is a little bit harder to cut, but please do try. Mums and dads, you can help um, your child by holding the bubble wrap for them and they can use the scissors to cut around in a circle. So here we go. We're going to cut our bubble wrap oh, as best as we can. I tell you, it is even tricky for Miss Karina. Goodness me. Round and around we go. Oh. Almost gone. Now you can make your puffer fish as big or as small as you like. You can make lots and lots of puffer fishes. It's up to you. So I'm going to make one medium sized one. So I'm just going to make it up into a, well, into a circle the best that I can. You don't need to draw it. Um, you can just free, freehand it. It's okay. So hmm, it's not a perfect circle, but I think it's a pretty good circle. And all we're going to do is we're going to stick it onto our white paper. So using our PVA glue, we're going to just oh, paint, paint, paint. Now you want to use a little bit because remember it is plastic. So you want to make sure it dries completely before we move on to, um, to something, uh, before we lift it up and take it away. So there we've got lots. And now we're going to... Turn it over and stick it onto our paper like that. One, two, three. And now it's time to decorate our puffer fish. Yeah, so we're going to make it a colour. We're going to paint it a colour. So I thought, because I'm being very colourful today, very creative, I'm going to paint my puffer fish yellow. Oh, not yellow. Oh, my goodness. You can tell me. What colour is that? Pink, not yellow. So I'm going to paint it yellow. And what color is that one? White. So using our pink, we're just going to paint our half, half, paint our bubble wrap like so. Like that. Now, round and round. And obviously, we will need to add some fins. Now, we're just going to paint our fins. We're not going to use the bubble wrap because usually it is just the body of the puffer fish that puffs out and the rest stay the same. So here, round and round. Oh, there we go. And now we're going to do the white. You know, one is pink, one is white. Why am I choosing that colour? No particular reason, just because I like it. So you can choose any colour you would like. You do not have to choose pink and white. You might want to choose red and yellow. You might want to choose orange and brown. Any colour you like. So round and round. Now, if you find it a little bit tricky to paint with a paintbrush, you can just dab, 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 rather than doing... Three strokes like this, you can dab, 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 and you make sure that you will get all the bubbles and then there. We can see that our puffer fish is really taking shape. Now we're going to draw a nice big tail on our puffer fish. And to do that, we're just going to do a triangle. 
So you're going to do one line into the middle there, one line there, and one line there. And then we're going to paint, paint, paint. So it's sort of like a triangle, but not, not a point, not three points like a triangle would have. So this one only has two points, but that's sort of what it looks like there. And what else do we need? Yeah, we need a fin on top. So we're just going to do, this time we're going to do a semicircle on top. So a little circle there and paint it. There's one semicircle and we're going to do another semicircle on the bottom. And that's okay if it's pink, everyone. It's okay. Or the same color as the top one. It's fine. Just our puffer fish is very, very, very colorful. And there it is. But I think what we need now is one big eye to make sure the puffer fish can look around find its house and see where it can be safe. So, ooh, so there we go. One big eye. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. A one big smile. What do you think of my puffer fish? Good. You like Alyssa? Fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm pretty proud of my puffer fish too. Now, you could add other things like what we talked about. You could paint some coral if you like, or you could just leave it like that, or you could paint it on different colored paper. There's so many other things, but this is just because I thought, you know, sometimes we have lots of bubble wrap, and that's a good way to be creative with bubble wrap, and we can reuse it and, you know, save the environment a little bit. So there's our little puffer fish. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed um, learning a little bit about what's under the sea and doing a puffer fish and their very own under the sea paper plate craft. Now, you could also make under the sea puppets. You can just cut them out and stick them on some paddle pop. There's lots of different.